Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, unless of course you're new here, in which case, hi, hello, my name is Ashley and welcome to my random little corner of the internet. As you can tell from today's title, we are rolling for our July TBR. No. Our August TBR. Normally in August, we do the Magical Readathon with G over at Book Roast, but this year... Due to various life things, she's going to be doing the Magical Readathon in September, which, you know, just makes more sense, because in a lot of places, that's when school starts anyway, so it's okay. So, for this month, I'm going to roll instead, which is fun, because I made this game to be able to play. So, yeah. We're just, we're just going to get right into it. Oh, I did... I guess we can talk about that. The last time I rolled, I did read all of my books. So, I don't know what I'll do if I don't. Like, I know other people put, like, punishments on their board. I don't... I don't know what to do for punishments. If you've got if you've got uh, ideas, put those in the comments. I might just look like watch other people's videos and see what their their their. I, a lot of their punishments I already have as prompts on my cards. So I don't know. We'll see. But let's just get into it. Alrighty. Once again, my um, little mover is gonna be Mary from Secret Garden. I got this pen from Let Joy Create. So she's gonna be here at the start. We are going to roll two dice because, um, yeah, otherwise, who knows how long this DVR will be. So roll number one. Four. One, two, three, four. That is a teal color, which is a number prompt. So it's going to be random number generated tile, title length. So I will put a, like a, in, a, in a number generator, I'll put, you know, anywhere between two and, well, I guess one. One and Depends on how I want to do this. Do I want to do this letter or n words? I guess we'll see when I go to talking about the book. Okay, so my first card we got, or for the first roll, we got random number generated title links. Um, I could go two of way, one or two ways. I could say um, that's how many words are in the title, or I could say that's how many letters are in the title. And I think I'm going to go words. <laughs> the last time I did letters, it was insane. So I'm going to do between one and... I'm looking at my bookshelf. I think I'm going to go between one and seven. So, okay, we're going to make sure this is seven. I'm going to do one and seven. And go. Okay, and then we're going to hit generate. Okay. <laughs> so, I guess we're going to do a one word title. I think I have some, hopefully. Okay, so for the random number generated, I can really decide, it's my game, and I can decide do I want that number to mean how many letters are in the title or do, is it how many words? This time I went with words. Last time I did um, letters, it was intense trying to count all of my books. Um, so I got one word. I'm going to go with Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson. Um, Skyward is the last book that I'm going to be reading in July. And so, I mean, obviously, would want to pick up the. Hopefully, I want to pick up the next book. Um, if for whatever reason, in the next 15 days, I don't get to that book, then Skyward will be the one-word title. Um, but like I said, at 15 days and uh, only half a hundred pages, less than a hundred pages left of my current read. So, filming is so much fun when you have kids. So, anyways, so one-word title we're going to be doing Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson. Alrighty, roll number two. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Oh, black hole. See, I didn't run any of those last year or last time. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll one dice to see how many I have to roll back. Six. Awesome. One, two, three, four, five, and six. It's going to be dark purple, which is one of these literally mystery prompts, which is reread a favorite. I think I already know which one I'm going to do, but yeah. Okay, so for my reread a favorite... It is difficult because some of them I really like to read more around spooky time, but it is July. Not July. It's going to be August. August is fall, I think. This is my favorite shelf right here, and honestly, I don't know. Part of me says I want to reread The Sun Bearer Trials because Celestial Monsters is coming out in September. So I could do that. 
I really want to reread Mythos by Jason Headley because I am going to do a video about all of his books. But then, like, The Raven Boys and The Raven Cycle is always, like, a book that I like to read in the fall. Given that I know that there's going to be two quite chunky books on there, I am going to go by with Mythos by Jason Headley. If you are on, he's not quite as popular on BookTube, but he is getting there, and then, but Book Talk. If you're on Book Talk at all, you know who Jason Headley is. You love him. You adore him. If you don't, what's wrong with you? Um, he has actually written five books. I am going to be doing a video on all five because he barely talks about it, and when he does, everybody's like, you wrote a book? Written five. And they're all great. And I love Mythos. It is one of my favorite books ever. It is about uh, this class trip that goes to Mythos, or Mythos Island, which ends up being, it's, it's like Jurassic Park, but with mythical creatures, and just like Jurassic Park, all hell breaks loose. And on top of the fact that the main character is a young man who just came out to his friends as queer, and his friends don't know quite how to take it. So there's that mixed in with running away from a dragon. So I love this book. So this is what I'm going to read for my reread of favorite. Alrighty, for roll number three, we got a nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And this is another number related one. So it is a book that was published this year. I have definitely have books that I have been wanting to read that were published this year. So this is a good one. Okay, editing Ashley here. Um, originally for this book, for this prompt, I had chosen, uh, Fragile Enchantment, uh, and then, literally right after I filmed, uh, Easy Cat's book club announced what book they were gonna do, and I had to think about whether or not I wanted to purchase a new book, and obviously that's a dumb question. Um, it's one I've been seeing all over TikTok, it's one I've been seeing all over Facebook, I really just needed someone to tell me I could buy it. <laughs> and, uh, that's gonna be The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst. Um, it sounds super cute and super cozy. The top says, The spell shop sweeps readers into a world of merhorses, illegal spells, and first loves. It's as comforting as homemade jam on a fresh-baked muffin, which sounds delightful. So this is going to be the read for Easy Cat's book club, and it was obviously published this year. So that's the book that I'm going to read for that prompt. Roll number four. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That is like a, supposed to be a creamy color, which is genre, which is historical fiction. Awesome. I know exactly what I'm going to read for this one. For historical fiction, I'm going to be going with The Mayor of Maxwell Street by Avery Cunningham. It takes place in 1921 Chicago, and we follow Nellie, who was a debutante, and she comes from the wealthiest black family in Chicago. I mean, it's 1921, so that's um, obviously going to play heavily into the story. Uh, but she somehow has to take down, like, the mob, essentially? I, I don't know. Sounds like a great time. Um, I love the diviners set in that time period. I know that has, that's in New York, and that has magic and all kinds of other stuff. I don't care. 1920s, the style. I love it, and I'm here for it. Is she chunky? Absolutely. Am I a little worried if I'm going to finish it? Absolutely. Are we still going to read it? Yes. So, yes. Historical fiction. The mayor of Maxwell Street. Roll number, roll number five. Another six. So we get one, two, three, four, five, and six, which is another dark purple. It's going to be a new release, which also works for the release this year, published this year. <laughs> for new release, I'm going to be reading Hearts That Cut by Kika Hatsapolo. Hatsapolo. She's lovely, and I love her. I need to find out how to say her last name. But anyways, yes, it is a sequel to Threads That Bind, and I absolutely adored that book. It was one of my top reads last year, and it was just so much fun to read. And I can't really tell you what... I mean, I guess I can't. It's so we follow Io, who uh, controls, like, Threads of Fate, which are the threads, obviously. And I believe... It's her and her two sisters, and I believe, I could be wrong, that she controls the, the, the Thread of Death. I'm excited to get into the sequel because honestly, Io looks like she's ready to go down. So, new release, Hearts the Cut. Alrighty, roll 
Number six, right? Six, six is an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight is a brown, which means it's a guest choice. Okay, it says Arrow Pick, which means my sister's gonna pick this book. Um, I haven't I have an idea of what she might pick, but we'll see. I will text her and then we will put that on the screen when I get to that part. Okay, I texted my sister, and sure enough, she did say go with this one. We um her and her sister in law were well, they want to start a book club, and she had her sister-in-law pick out a book. Her sister hasn't started it. Um, my sister started it yesterday. I said, uh, if you pick that, I won't start until July, because that's or uh, till August, because that's when this is for. And she said, that's fine, because I'm pretty certain Brie hasn't started it either. And that is The Serpent and the Wing of Night. Of course, it's a very, very popular book. It's all over book talk, but I know that it is a chonky book. I don't own it, but it is on Kindle Unlimited. So I've already downloaded it, and that's what we're going to be reading for that one. Roll number seven. We are almost to the end, and we can't roll the one, so here we go. Five. Alrighty. Five. Every time I get to the end, I just roll, I pull a purple card, and that's going to be a standalone. Any book that is a standalone. I don't know if I actually have any of those, but I will check. Alrighty, and the final prompt for this one is a standalone, and for that one I'm going to go with Miss Treadway and the Field of Stars. I grabbed this book from a Dollar Tree a few years ago. It was published in 2017. I know nothing about it. According to the... Also, look at those deckled edges. I love deckled edges. I don't... I don't... Uh, according to The Spine, it takes place in 1965, and it's uh, set in, like, London. As an American actress is 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 acting on West End, um, and then she disappears, and people have to find her. So this is honestly right up the alley of what I've been reading this year and absolutely loving. So my year is, is going a little crazy. These are going to be the books that I'm going to read in August, and uh, as well as you know, I'll put it I guess maybe uh, the Serpent and the Wings. No, Serpent and the Wing of Night is that what it's called? Yeah. So. That one, and then this one right here, those are some chunky boys, chunky girls. Um, Star Sight's a little chunky. Mythos was a quick read when I read it the first time. Um, some of these are, I don't know, I think I get that's, that's, that's seven books. <laughs> we'll, we will see. I don't have any um, markets coming up until the end of September. And I think unless this next market goes phenomenally well, I have plenty of inventory, so maybe I'll just have plenty of time to read. I guess we shall see. Anyways, what do you have on your August TBR? If I ever remember what month it is. I know this is for August. What is on your August TBR? And then if you don't want to tell me, just leave a dragon emojis. You know, for mythos. <laughs> just leave a dragon emoji so that I know that you were here and you stuck around to the end because I appreciate you so much. If you like this video hit the thumbs up button as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are always notified every time I upload. And until next time.